In this video, we are going to make an agent-based epidemic model. Let's start it. This is a model we made in the past, in which you can see one butterfly flying around. See how to make this model in our previous video. We're going to expand this model into an epidemic model. This model is relatively simple. You can see we only set up one turtle and we only ask the turtle to randomly move around. Now let's think about how can we expand this model into an epidemic model. What do we need to change the first? Yes, we need a population of people. Let's go ahead to make some change. Let's change create turtles one into create turtles population size. Of course, we want people. So let's change turtle shape from butterfly to person. We don't change the color or size of the turtles. When you check, that logo says, nothing named population size has been defined. It's because we have not created the slider yet. Let's do it. Because we are creating a population size slider, you can put in any reasonable minimum and maximum. And the default value, let's put down 300 for now. Let's set up the simulation. Okay, you have a person, but only one person. No, we actually have 300 persons, but they are all stacked together. Let's add a command to separate them. We will add the command into the setup turtles procedure. It says set x, y. This will set the x and the y coordinates of each turtle. We will give a random x and a y coordinates to each turtle. Now we have a human population. We're good to go. To model an epidemic, we need to break down the process. We can think of the stages that people go through when they get an infectious disease, such as COVID-19. We need to consider a few questions. First, what will be the agents in the simulation? Second, how the agents will behave? Third, what are some characteristics we want to include and not include in the simulation? Also, what does the environment look like? How the simulation go from the beginning to the end? We use humans as the agents in this simulation. Then, what will be the agent's properties? In other words, characteristics. Let's think about COVID-19. Before COVID-19 emerged, all people were susceptible. Then, when they are exposed to COVID-19, they can be affected. So we call these people exposed and infected, but they have not shown any symptom. They still walk around. They can transmit the disease. We call them carriers. The days between the people are exposed to they show the symptom is called incubation period. During incubation period, People affected with COVID-19 can transmit the disease to other susceptible people. After the incubation period, 
the carriers show symptoms. They're sick. Now they become infectious. They're still contagious and able to transmit disease to the susceptible people. The infectious will stay in the disease period and eventually recover or die. This process is summarized into SEIR model. It describes the interactions among four types of people in an epidemic. In this model, both exposed and infectious people can transmit disease. In our simulation, we will let the infectious stay home or go to hospital so that only carriers transmit disease. From there, we can think about the environment, the simulation environment. Of course, we need a certain size of area. We need a certain size of population. We're not going to consider any specific environmental factors to keep this simulation simple. According to the SEIR model, we can come up with four simple rules for the agents. The first one is about moving. Every agent will move around except the infectious. The second rule is transmission. In this simulation, only the carriers will transmit the disease to the susceptible people nearby. The third rule is incubation, which describes the carriers become sick. The fourth rule will be thickness, which describes how the sick people either pass away or recover from the disease. To build a simulation, we can start with a population with susceptible people only, and then a carrier comes in. This carrier moves around and spreads disease. Now we have a better idea about this simulation. Let's go ahead to make it.